and there are two ways to test these canals. You can ask the patient to sit on the couch so that when they lie down their head will just extend beyond the end. Turn the patient's head 45 degrees to the right to test the right ear. Check for nystagmus. Ask the patient to lie down as quickly as is comfortable, keeping their head turned 45 degrees. Ideally, the head should extend 20 degrees below the level of the couch, or be resting on a tilted couch 20 degrees below the horizontal. This is more appropriate if the patient has difficulty extending their neck. Observe for nystagmus and notice character, direction and duration. This is an example of right-sided canal lithiasis of the posterior canal. Once the nystagmus has died away, or after 30 to 45 seconds, if there was no nystagmus, sit the patient up. You can do this relatively slowly, especially if orthostatic hypertension is a risk. Look again for nystagmus. To test the left ear, repeat, but with the patient facing the other way. The second way to test is to ask the patient to sit in the centre of the couch. Turn the head 45 degrees to the left to test the right ear. Ask the patient to lie on their side as quickly as is comfortable for them. Keep the head turned 45 degrees. Look for nystagmus just as you would in the previous test. Wait for the nystagmus to die away or for 30 to 45 seconds if the patient has no nystagmus. Then sit the patient up carefully and watch again. Repeat on the other side for the left posterior canal. The first test is based on the work of Dixon Hallpike and is in common use. This second side-lying test is in less routine use. It is equally effective in provoking a positional nystagmus and can be useful with patients who are exceptionally anxious or who cannot lie down comfortably on their back.